Hello, this is Ranger Mike Walker at Huntington Beach State Park, and today we're going to be talking about some of the conservation work that we're doing to protect imperiled shorebirds and seabirds. Uh, the first steps in this process, uh, try to help these birds out, uh, was to give them some dry sand. Now, the area we're standing on right now, we've worked with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, a few times over the past few decades uh, to try to help the birds out. So they've been pumping the sand actually over the course of the last few months. Uh, this is one of the more ambitious projects. We have an estimate of about 12 acres of new uh, nesting and resting area for shorebirds and seabirds has now been established here at the park. So this is very much a huge team effort uh, to try to make this uh, area a safe haven for the birds. So once the Corps of Engineers contractor had placed the sand, which is roughly about 12 acres of sand, uh, that sand had, had to be protected. And we called in a large number of volunteers. Uh, we had Mary Catherine Martin, a biologist with the U.S. Department of Natural Resources, come out and help us, um, and volunteers from the Friends of Huntington Beach State Park, as well as our wonderful park staff come out and all together working several days, they put up almost 5,000 feet of electric fence. Uh, but then uh, uh, each of those pieces had to be reinforced with fiberglass rods to make sure that they stay upright and sturdy. Uh, the electrical connections between each, uh, each span of fence had to be connected individually. And they, these are hooked up to a solar powered energizer uh, uh, to make sure that they stay, uh, stay active. So it was a tremendous amount of work over, over several days. Uh, and what can be kind of rough uh, conditions, it can be very hot or very windy uh, out here. This is a very remote area of the park. We are further from a bathroom here than anywhere else in the park, probably a mile and a half from any facilities of any sort. So we are very, very grateful to our wonderful volunteers who help make all of this possible for the birds. Once again, trying to provide safe areas for these birds uh, to rest at, feed at, and nest at. So really, this is a year-round thing. Now, the electric fence is, is a temporary measure, and that's what you can see behind us. So this is for the birds that are nesting here. Um, it is electrified 24 hours a day. We have mink here that are potentially a terrible predator on shorebirds and seabirds and their eggs and their chicks. Um, so we have to keep those mammalian predators out. So the double rows here, the reason we use two parallel rows about three foot apart, uh, is to discourage coyotes. We did have a coyote a couple of years ago that figured out how to jump over one uh, of the electric fences. So by putting two in parallel, that makes it much more difficult uh, for that to happen. Now, we are also employing a variety of other tools, uh, and these were made possible through a generous grant from the Francis P. Bunnell Foundation here in Georgetown County uh, that enabled us to provide uh, some interesting uh, bits of, of technology uh, that we uh, would, may not have had access to before. And primarily is the big solar panel you see out there in the center. That is a mermaid system, M-U-R-R-E made system. Murr is a type of seabird that lives up north. So the mermaid system is that sound system, playing the sound of, in our case, the sound of happy nesting least turns. Uh, so that is the audio part, but you need to have a visual as well. And that's where these decoys come in. So these least turn decoys, once again, through a, a generous grant, we were able to purchase a, a number of blank versions of these. And we actually had fifth grade students throughout Georgetown County hand paint the, the decoys. We have over 50 of them that are placed out here around the mermaid system. And kind of the last piece of the puzzle uh, for the least turns, because one of the dangers of nesting out in the open beach area is avian predators can be an issue. Now, granted, the electric fence is useless against avian bird predators, uh, but we can do what we can to discourage roosting areas for the birds where, where big birds of prey could rest and scope out the area. And we also have these chick shelters. These were built by eighth grade students uh, who attended the Pathways to Possibility Career Fair uh, 
at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, and that was also sponsored by the Francis P. Pinnell Foundation. So this area of the park is very, very remote. The vast majority of the visitors who come here are coming in by boat. So we will have um, uh, buoys out there in the water, letting people know they cannot bring dogs in this area of the park before they even uh, land on the beach. Uh, we have the shorebird stewards volunteers uh, to help educate them and, and, and kind of minimize uh, the disturbance uh, to the nesting birds. Soon. Remember when you come to the park, here's a few things we can all do to help uh, our shorebirds and seabirds. If you bring your pet to the park, it has to stay on a leash at all times. Uh, and, and we do not allow pets on the north end of the park. So from the North Beach access up to the jetty, uh, up to the northern boundary of the park, we don't allow dogs any time of year uh, to give the shorebirds and seabirds uh, a break. Uh, whenever you see these areas that are strung off and uh, they have the signs, please stay out of them. These birds' nests are practically invisible. And if you go through them, if you force the birds to get off the nest, especially in the summertime, you may very well be subjecting them to overheating and dying. So you can do a lot of damage by crossing through those barriers. So make sure you don't, don't do that. If you see a big flock of birds on the beach, those birds probably migrated hundreds of miles the day before. They desperately need to rest and feed. So maybe show them a little Southern hospitality. Walk around them. Don't, don't, you don't need to walk through them and force them uh, to, to, to take flight. And let's be honest, there are very few beaches where these birds have uh, a safe sanctuary to feed, rest, sleep, uh, or nest undisturbed. So every little space that we can set aside for these birds, manage uh, just a little bit differently. Uh, we can all kind of work together to make sure that we can enjoy seabirds and shorebirds uh, in your children and grandchildren's future as well. And anyway, that's uh, some of the cool things going on at Huntington Beach State Park uh, with our shorebird and seabird nesting area. And we hope to see you out at the park real soon.